Welcome back. So I decided to switch from LastPass to this new password manager called Bitwarden. Why? Because Bitwarden's Firefox extension is much faster. It does not slow down the browser unlike LastPass. Besides that, Bitwarden's Android application is just better and um, it has all the same features and it's also free. So I figured we might as well switch it. And also Bitwarden is being developed by a group that is funded by Microsoft so it's a reputable source and also the source code is open source so it, it, it should be trustworthy. While I was trying to switch I came across multiple errors so on this video I'm going to try to explain how to fix those errors. Assuming you already have signed in into both extensions the first thing we need to do is to go to LastPass and export the data to a CSV file so we can uh, take it to Bitwarden and import it. But first of all, go to More Options in LastPass, click About LastPass. Next to Binary Component, you'll see False. Go ahead and click the Enable Native Messaging. We have to do this so we can um, do the importing process. Go ahead and close the browser after clicking that. And then launch it again and go back to LastPass more options again about LastPass binary component is still false now this time it is giving us an option to install the binary component so go ahead and save this it is a 64-bit version of the LastPass uh, once you install that it is going to rewrite the 32-bit version you're not going to lose any information so once the download is done go ahead and run that lastpass underscore x64.exe and I'm going to click advanced options for the, this is for testing only so I'm going to do this for Chrome only but you can do for all browsers if you want now um, we have to close the browser and it will continue automatically let's sign in Once you sign in, you should uh, see this prompt. It, it's asking if you want to import your Google Chrome passwords into LastPass. I'm, uh, go ahead and click no. I already have them. So once that's done, uh, it will ask you to install LastPass. If it, it should do it on its own. You don't have to click anything here. Uh, if it doesn't, then click that red button that you, you saw earlier. Now the browser will close on its own. Go ahead and launch the browser again. Now we have the 64-bit version of LastPass that will allow us to export the database. So let's go ahead and click the plugin again and go to more options about LastPass. Binary component is true. Okay, so let's go to more options, advanced, export, choose the LastPass CSV file put the password again and it will ask you to choose a location where you want to save the database database LastPass it's a CSV format let's go ahead and click Save this is our database it is a CSV format from here the first thing you should do is try to use this database and see if it works with Bitwarden Go ahead and sign in to Bitwarden, go to Tools, Import Logins, yes. It will ask you to sign in to your Bitwarden Vault. Once you sign in, on the left corner, click Tools, and then Import Data. On Section 1, click LastPass CSV. On Section 2, Browse and select the database that you exported. Click import. If you see a green message on the top right corner th then means congratulations your your password should be in the Bitwarden. But in most cases once you click import you're going to see a red pop-up message that says some kind of error happened, couldn't import, uh, did not recognize the data or something like that. 
So here is how to fix that. To fix that, you have to open and see the content of the CSV database. But the Notepad is not very good. Microsoft Notepad is not a very good application for this. So for this, I recommend Notepad++. I'll add the link to the description section. Once you open the database with the Notepad++, you're going to see a very nice looking set of information that will look something like this. The top row is going to be some gibberish. Doesn't matter what it is. Beginning the second row, you will see your the URL of the website, your username and the password for that website and then next to it a bunch of other information that it, I did not include. So the reason why you are seeing the error while importing to Bitwarden is because most likely because of this. If you have any secure notes, LastPass will include those secure notes in the export file, CSV file, but the Bitwarden does not recognize this format. So what you have to do is find the last line that has your passwords and usernames and anything below that, your notes, you're going to have to delete those notes from the database. Also, also, uh, look for, um, and, and once you delete that, go ahead and try that. It should work. If it doesn't, go back and look for anything that is very long, something that, uh, does not look like useful information. When you when you save password in third party applications on some websites, some errors might happen and LastPass might uh, include some gibberish data in there. So Bitwarden will f will read all these lines, it will come across to this line, it will check the password. Pass password is longer than specific number of characters, let's say 300 and it will show you an error. So uh, find anything excessively long and gibberish that you do not recognize. Double check to make sure it's not useful and then go ahead and delete that line. At the end you should have the top line, top row as something left by the last pass that specifies the website username password and then right after that you should see your passwords and usernames and after that nothing that should be the end of the database now go ahead and save the file once you edit it and then now your database is ready go back to Bitwarden import the data and this time it will work I'm not gonna do it because that was for experimental purposes only if you found this video useful Press the like button and share the video. Thanks.